Yes, you see, uh, the Nongoji Tomato Factory was uh, completed last year and uh, we had to wait for the tomato season to start before we could start operation. And uh, unfortunately, just barely three weeks into our operations, the tomato farms were attacked and destroyed by a certain tomato paste called Tuta Absoluta. So currently we are getting geared for the coming tomato season, which uh, hopefully starts uh, next month in December. And uh, we are ready to start uh, running as soon as the tomatoes uh, become available. Comes about due to lack of either cold storage to store the tomatoes or a processing factory that can mop up the excess tomato uh, grown by the farmers. So that has been the major challenge in the industry. And that's the main reason why uh, the Angoti Tomato Processing Factory was established in the heart of the largest tomato growing cluster in the country. That's in Kano, the Kadawa Irrigation Facility. Yeah, as you see, the plant has the capacity to process 1,200 tons a day of fresh tomato. And you are talking of uh, equivalent of uh, 40 trailers of tomato. And that's quite a huge volume. And our concern now is the farmer's ability to meet up with the capacity of the factory. And we don't want a situation also where we create a scarcity of tomato because that means it will escalate the market price and there will be no enough tomato in the fresh market. And also we to our processing factory will obviously have to be shut down once there is scarcity. So we are working with the farmers, introducing hybrid seeds that can increase their yield. Currently they have just about an average of 15 tons per hectare and uh, we are working with uh, seed companies like Syngenta and we have made some trials with them and the farmers and we've been getting about 60-65 tons per hectare from 15 tons. So with that going forward the farmer will grow more tomato and will be able to supply both the factory and also the fresh farm. So the, the farmer will have an opportunity to be playing in two markets at any given point in time. So that issue of post-harvest loss will no longer be there.